De La Wright, my envy this. Welcome. T.S. Extravaganza, as we are hearing you now, that anti-gospel has shed um, so much tears over the response of the Oni of Ife as she made mention of the fact that she is pregnant. Now, report reaching us allegedly, as it is rumored, as it is reported, is that gospel has come out to inform um, her husband, the monarch, that uh, she is expecting a baby for the monarch. And they said the first thought that came out of the monarch's mouth was that he is not responsible for any pregnancy, that he is indeed exhausted with this. They are pregnant today, not pregnant tomorrow, that nobody should call his name, that he is not uh, responsible. And they said this watered down the pride of gospel because this was done in the presence of other people where she went to go and kneel down. And she had said she had good news for the monarch and the monarch was not expecting that it would be a news of a baby at this time where he is trying to reunite with his wife. You know something, eh? There is this adage the other time. They said that person when bite you for nose, you no fear kata. Hey. When you go bite and for bottom, make you no fear shit at all, at all. No fear shit. Nothing go happy. Go wash your mouth, come out. Because, you know, if everything we keep hearing that is making the rounds on social media is the truth, you cannot continue to think that you will be biting people and be blowing them, biting them and blowing them, and it will suffice. For how long is this going to last? And that's the question that these women need to, you know, answer to, okay? Now, we've heard a lot of stuff. The worst thing that can happen is like, let somebody be an enemy and say, yes, so I am an enemy that... that pretend to be a friend to you. That's going to be the worst thing that can happen to you in this world. And that's exactly what has transpired between the monarch and gospel from what we are hearing. I do not live in the palace of the Oni of Ife, neither am I related to them or related to anyone who is related to them. Okay? I'm just a blogger. Whatever information I get, I bring, I reenact, and I tell you guys what's going on. And this is the same reason why I keep saying to Dela Wright that whatever information you get on social Social media, you want to take it with a pinch of salt. Now, at some point, you know, a lot of us were mm. deceived into believing that gospel was one of the finest, you know, uh, women in the palace, thought wise, like she had a good heart, she wanted, she could see things for what they truly um, um, uh, were, and uh, she wanted Olori Nami to return back into the palace so Tadenika can grow up with the father. Now, a lot of us had that thought. Me, Dale, I was number one. I kept believing everything I was hearing um, concerning um, gospel and her disposition to Naomi's return into the palace. But over time now, with all the events happening, if everything we keep hearing on social media um, is to be the truth, we have come to see that she does not want Naomi. She does not want Naomi with the only of Ife. She's ready to do anything to ensure that they are not together. She's ready to fight. She's ready to bring down that relationship. At least that is what we are made to believe. If this information we keep getting is the truth, we have um, seen these things happen over and over again. And right now we are hearing that um, uh, she went uh, in the in the in the in the middle of this kind of stress. How do you go and tell your husband that you are pregnant for him? And they said when she did that, the only of Ife told her openly that he is indeed not responsible for any pregnancy, that he does not know what she's talking about. They said a kind of cry she cried, eh? that she cried so much, that she cried so much. But we also heard that she's still having one or two with the husband, even though we are also aware, at least me, I'm aware, people say that no man born of a woman can cross the wife of the Oba, but they say that she's still having one or two to do with the husband. The husband is coming and the husband is spending a night in that house and all of that. Maybe just for the sake of the children, I don't know, I'm, I wasn't there. Um, but then again, 
Um, is that could that be the reason why the Oba, the owner of Ife, is saying he is not responsible for her pregnancy, or is there something else we should be uh, looking at? But they said this did not go well with her, that she cried so much, she was very upset, and she kept calling Queen Naomi's name that this is happening because Queen Naomi will not mind her business and stay where she is. I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.